Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Mohamed Rayeti, and me and my colleagues, Mohsuzuk and Rashid Jerkovi, we are presenting this paper. The problem we want to address in this paper is uh, we have multiple strategic aggregators in an active distribution network. We want to coordinate them for providing operational flexibility. So uh, for this problem, the overview of the topics I want uh, to cover is this. Uh, I, give it, uh, I give it here. First, I want to present an introduction. Then I give the objective and the contribution of the work. And then the mathematical modeling of the problem. And then uh, a solution for that problem, which is a local coordinating mechanism. And finally, I give the case of study to evaluate the performance of the proposed mechanism. So uh, in the context of energy transition, uh, operational flexibility is becoming a operational challenge. And it's because normally it is provided by conventional bulk power plants, but when we have a high penetration of renewable energy sources, then we have less capacity of conventional bulk power plants. Then uh, the question is that who would provide the operational flexibility when we need more uh, operational flexibility in that case. So uh, one solution for that is uh, using the capacity of distributed energy resources with an active distribution network. But uh, for using the capacity of DERs, uh, there are many challenges. First, uh, most of the time they are not eligible for participating in transmission market because of their sizes. Second, uh, they don't have incentive to pay the overhead cost for uh, such as acquiring the certification or installing the communication technologies. Uh, to solve this issue, uh, uh, a new uh, player named as aggregator in distribution network uh, that uh, facilitate the interaction of the DR and TSO for participating in trans and transmission market. The aggregator acts as intermediary agent between the TSOs and the DRs. Uh, so uh, it's good to see what is the architecture of the um, aggregators in the distribution network. Each aggregator can have multiple resources in various nodes of the distribution network. But uh, the question is that who would um, manage the uh, limitation of the distribution network? So we can have a coordinator to manage the aggregators within an active distribution network. So uh, the challenge of coordinating the aggregators, first, we should consider the physical limit of the, uh, the distribution network, such as congestion of lines or excess heat radiations. And also we should consider the strategic behavior of the aggregators because the aggregators do not behave in the favor of the distribution network. They to, uh, they behave in favor of their utilities. And third, uh, the privacy of the aggregators and the coordinator should be considered. Uh, we, we will define the, what, uh, what we want, uh, what, uh, what is the meaning of the privacy of the aggregators and the coordinator. But in general, we mean that uh, the cost and uh, constraint of the aggregators uh, the DERs represented by the aggregators are private information and the parameters of the state of the ADN also are private. So we, uh, we, would, uh, we should have a, a coordinating mechanism that considers these privacy. Uh, there are two coordinating mechanisms in the literature of power system. solution, which is uh, each aggregator uh, give the cost and constraint to a coordinator and the coordinator solve a centralized optimization problem by knowing all the cost and constraints of all aggregators and find the dispatch of uh, each aggregator. The second solution is distributed, which in which uh, the coordinator design the payoff function of each uh, for, for the aggregators and the aggregator solve a local optimization problem to find their dispatches. Uh, less computational requirement of distributed mechanism and plus the uh, aggregators, keeping the aggregators privacy leads us to the fact that uh, the distributed mechanism are superior compared to the centralized mechanism. 
So the objective and the contribution of the work, uh, we want to find a local coordinating mechanism uh, based on non-cooperative gain involving all the strategy aggregators present DR to maximize the DR aggregator's utilities in the flexibility market, considering the physical limit of the ADM and also considering the privacy of the aggregator and the coordinator. And uh, we analyze the properties of the natural equilibrium of the in incorporated gain between aggregators. Uh, the properties, including the existence and uniqueness of the natural equilibrium, uh, are analyzed. Uh, finally, we propose an iterative distributed algorithm with, in which converts to the natural equilibrium of the incorporated gain. So, uh, what is the mathematical modeling of the problem? Uh, we want to find the optimal offer of uh, all aggregators. The, uh, we mean by the offer curve mean that uh, delivered flexibility versus price, what is delivered flexibility versus price. Uh, to find this curve, we need to solve this optimization problem. And uh, here, the first term of the objective is the total delivered flexibility income minus uh, the cost of the production of the DRs. Uh, there are two sets of the constraints here. The first set of constraints is uh, the aggregator DR capabilities, such as active and reactive power capabilities. And the second set of constraints is the limitation of the distribution network, such as voltage and current limit. To solve this problem, the coordinator needs to know the cost and constraint of the aggregators in which they are private information. Uh, so uh, we have a problem that the coordinator do not uh, that the coordinator does not know the param the parameters of the, this problem. So uh, we want to find this problem. Uh, to solve this problem, we propose a local coordinating mechanism. This, it is based on distributed mechanism in which the coordinator find the payoff function and the ag aggregate it based on the solving a local optimization problem. Uh, the payoff of each aggregator is like this. Uh, you see that the first term is the delivered flexibility income of each aggregator. The second term is the penalty term, which capture the deviation from the ADM limits. And you see that this penalty term depends on the strategy of each aggregator and also the strategy of the other aggregator except that aggregator I. Uh, so each aggregator also solved the following optimization problem to find the desired dispatch. And uh, you see that the penalty function, it is in the objective function of the aggregator, each aggregator optimization problem, and it is not in the constraint. And the design penalty function, you see that here, it, is de it depends on the constraint of the ADM. And, uh, it, uh, and you see that it is a good, of the polynomial differential uh, function. And it is proved in the paper that's, that this design penalty function, the solving multiple local optimization problems separately uh, has uh, have the same solution as uh, when we solve a centralized optimization problem with all information. So based on this and uh, to show this fact, we want uh, to analyze the incorporated non-cooperated gain among aggregators, uh, the strategy uh, of each aggregate, the strategy set of each aggregator is delivered flexibility. The utility function is like this. You see that uh, here the penalty function depends on the strategy of all aggregator, and because of that, we have a gain. And it is proved that there is a unique Nash equilibrium in the incorporated gain with the design penalty function, and the resulted Nash equilibrium is equal to the solution of optimal coordinating and the penalty function is equal to zero equilibrium it means that the budget balance condition is satisfied or in other words uh, the coordinator does not need to provide any additional money or collect any money from the uh, market so um, it may uh, this question uh, someone asked this question that uh, for uh, uh, for uh, asymmet uh, we have this asymmetric information gain, but Nash equilibrium is used for complete information gain. And uh, using the Nash equilibrium in this case, it is a little bit tricky because 
uh, Nash equilibrium is used for complete information. Yeah. To solve this, we propose an iterative distributed algorithm. In general, this algorithm uh, works like this, that each uh, coordinator just gives some information that depends on the strategy of all aggregators and do not really, does not really of all aggregators. So each aggregator in each situation uh, solves uh, uh, its local optimization problem considering, other uh, con considering the strategy of other aggregators fixed. So it is proved that the, this algorithm converts and also the privacy of the aggregators uh, is maintained and the detailed parameter state of the ADN are not revealed to the aggregators. Uh, to show the performance of the proposed uh, mechanism, we use the IEEE 33 nodes radial distribution network. And you can see here the parameters of different DERs uh, representing by three aggregators. And you can see the capability power, active power and reactive power capability of each DER and the parameters of the cost function of each DER. And here the proposed mechanism is used for the management of both delivered upward and downward active power flexibility at node one. And uh, you see here the utility of the aggregators that it is converged after finite number of iteration the proposed algorithm for the price $100 per megawatt. And it is here, you see the uh, downward flexibility of, of aggregators at this price. And you can see that it is also covered after a number of iteration. And the optimal offer curve of all aggregators, it is here shown with uh, different colors. You see the upward flexibility curve with positive number and downward flexibility curve with negative number. And uh, you see that it is not symmetric if you see, for example, for the price $100 per megawatt, uh, you see it is not symmetric. It is because uh, the upward flexibility provision is constrained by the DER capability, but the downward flexibility is constrained by the ADN is so the limits here. And because of that, the offer curve for upward and downward flexibility is not symmetric. And uh, to obtain this result, we use CDX package in MATLAB benefited by Groovy soft optimization solver. We use the PC with this specification and the required average CPU time, which is equal to 237 seconds. And uh, you see that uh, the computational burden for computing the Nash equilibrium depends on the number of aggregators, but uh, it has a smaller dependency to the number of the nodes. Uh, to summarize the paper, a local coordinating mechanism with the desired feature is proposed in this paper to provide the flexibility of an aggregator for a strategy aggregator with an ADN. Uh, the physical limits of the ADN are considered. And uh, in the national incorporated in the proposed mechanism, the optimal offer of the aggregators uh, are obtained. And uh, it is shown that it, this national equilibrium is also unique. And uh, iterative distributed algorithm is developed, which is convert, which converts to the uh, natural equilibrium of the incorporated game. And uh, you see that the privacy of the aggregator is maintained in the proposed algorithm. Uh, thanks for your attention. If you, anyone has questions, uh, you can reach me with this email and, or maybe I can answer your question right now. Great, thank you, Mohammed. Um, are there any questions? Uh, There's none in the chat box or the Q and A box yet, but I'm sure some are coming. I um, have a question. So, um, in addition to the aggregators competing in the real time, you know, market participation phase. They probably also would be competing in sort of a planning phase to get to get different customers to aggregate, right? Um, so, are there any lessons learned from the real time problem that you're solving that could help them be more um, competitive in the real time, uh, you know, markets by being strategic in the planning phase when they're gathering customers? Uh, that's a good question. Uh... 
for you know uh, solving that problem i guess we have a uh by level gain that uh here we uh, actually solve the second level gain so uh for that question i don't have a real good answer for that uh, what is the is yeah is it uh is you know is it like they uh, have more market power or more ability to be strategic if they're bigger or are there any other factors besides like the size of their aggregation? Actually, in this paper, we show that in the distribution network, we can have a mechanism that uh, mitigate the market power of different aggregators. So we don't have the issue of market power okay. in the distribution networks. So in real time markets. Uh, but uh, actually, I think that's for the uh, for the planning phase also, uh, we can have a mechanism to solve the issue of market power. Okay. Uh, because right now we show that uh, we, we have a mechanism with desired features, you know, mm -hmm. that implements Nash equilibrium in, in uh, that the optimal solution is implemented in Nash equilibrium and has uh, also so, you know, budget balance condition on other uh, desired feature. So I guess uh, we have two questions also in the- Yeah, there's two questions. Do you want me to read them or do you want to just read an answer? Uh, thanks a lot for your presentation. Zhou Yuan asks this. Can you comment on the possible multiple Nash equilibrium solution of the game? Uh, right now, you know, with the, uh, with the designed penalty function, we show that the Nash equilibrium is unique in the you know, in the, in the design mechanism. And so we don't have the problem of Nash equilibrium solution, uh, multiple Nash equilibrium solution. Uh, so, uh, you know, with the design mechanism, we don't have the multiple Nash equilibrium solution. We have unique Nash equilibrium. So the second question, it is that in radial, uh, uh, first, it is possible to block aggregators downstream uh, or upstream depending on net flow. How do you avoid this? Uh, the question is a little bit unfamiliar for me. Uh, it's possible to block aggregators downstream or upstream depending on net flow. How do you avoid this? Uh, right now, you know, I use the, uh, the sensitivity factor power flow based equation for uh, the design mechanism. But also I can uh, think that we can extend the mechanism for also this fellow equation. So there's not any problem for uh, strategic behavior of aggregators in that case also. But uh, actually I don't understand uh, completely the question clearly. So yeah, that's my answer, but I don't know. Uh, I can ask that. And uh, I don't know, uh, we have time to respond to another question or? Yeah, you have one more minute. So if you want to take that last one quickly, that's fine. Okay, uh, this third question is that, uh, thank you for your talk. Aggregators offer seems equal for all three. Is it by design in case of non-equal offers, can coordinator prefer one aggregator over the others? Uh, here, yes, uh, they are same. I guess it is by design. And uh, in case of non-equal offers, um, here, you know, uh, with the uh, with the uh, convex uh, cost function of the DERs, we have unique optimal solution. So we don't have, you know, the problem of multiple optimal solution that uh the coordinator may prefer one solution to over to another solution so we don't have that problem but uh, for the case that we don't have uh, you know uh, we don't have a convex cost function uh, that's a good question then we don't uh, we, in that case we have uh, you know multiple uh, optimal solution um, optimal solution for the centralized optimization problem so uh, that question uh, should be asked in that case, and the uh, problem of all problem is not for that. Okay. Thanks. Okay, for thank you.